how that's ready. We just uh, went into the upside down from Stranger Things. Left off on a little bit of a cliffhanger last time. These are not friendly creatures. Oh. What the? Easy, easy! What the hell was that? I don't know. I was here, but everything was destroyed. What? One minute you're following me, and then you're just gone. Minute later, you pop in out of nowhere, looking like you were in the middle of a fight. There's some scorpion things right over there! In our storage room. I should have never let you inside. What is this? Some kind of stealth tick. Who are you working for? Zawoa, congrats on grabbing first. Enjoy your first favorite type of chocolate inside of that gold medal. And welcome. Oh, thanks for that blow Let me grab blow real quick. Thank you, Fedora Sora, for throwing blow high at me. Give <laughs> blow high a nice big hug. There we go. If I had stealth deck, I wouldn't be arguing with you in a hallway. Look, I don't know what's going on. Let's get you to the director. Maybe she can figure this out. <laughs> Come on, this way. Now, Zoe's not Fedora, but Fedora sort of literally in person through blow high at me. Huh? Huh? Who's there? Friendly? Oh, oh, thank God. Finally, someone came. The distress signal. You picked up the distress signal, right? Ooh, we got a medicine dialogue option. Starvation, dehydration. You're in bad shape. Yeah, yeah, I know. I wouldn't have made it much longer. It's been so long. I'm out of food, out of water. But I made it. I... Wait, how did you get in here? I think I'm shifting from one Nishina, an intact one. What? What are you talking about? No. No, no, no. This doesn't make any sense. Unless... The accident. Maybe... Maybe this is a side effect of the accident. If the probe is still feeding power to the distortion, then... Need a big, small pocket and double jumbo size ones. You mean blow highs? That'd be cool. I've got. I think it's the jumbo one. Whatever the like, the, the larger of the blow highs is. They're very good as like a, almost like a body pillow for hugging. Pro. Distortion, right. Right. We were studying a gravitational distortion. Three months ago, I was calibrating an experiment in our high-energy research lab. There was an accident. An explosion. It caused a gas leak. Sparked a fire. I was trapped in the control room. There was nothing I could do. They're... they're all dead. Describe this distortion. The lab was built around a xenolith with a dense metallic ob- A what? Oh, okay. We should. Wait, they're back. All right, we're on our way up. Fuse out. I was just filling in the director. Let's keep moving. If anything happens, the director- Give my gun out. The second floor, end of the hall. You can't miss it.
Oh cool, you can scan things through windows. Journal. It's like this guy was trying to stay hydrated. Didn't go so well though. This site contains Dr. Barakova's personal journal. Posted to a 180 day rotation, the doctor has loathed every hour spent treating headaches, paper cuts, and sore feelings after yet another inane scientific argument. A few entries catch your attention. Day 21, 1454. Mr. He has reported an emergency with the Particle Accelerator Engineering Team. Code blue, code blue, full trauma kit on standby. Was it methane poisoning? A bite from some terrifying venomous life form? No. Evidently, Mr. McCarrick dropped a drill on his foot while assembling the containment housing. Minor bruising, not even a sprain. Clearly we're dealing with dangerous unknown phenomena here. Day 64, 115. There's been an explosion on the research level. Full security lockdown. Alarms blaze blaring. He is just trying to regain control. I am, of course, standing by. Day 64, 218. There's a hydrogen leak. The explosion must have ruptured the tanks on the research level. It's in the ventilation system. We can't contain it from up here. We can't evacuate because of the lockdown. Hughes is still trying to reset the system, or at least cut the air interchange, but it's going to take a few hours. If the levels rise much further, the entire facility could combust. There is something to be said for boring days. This is the final entry. I like how everything is all all burnt and crispy and all like covered in soot, but the the pharmaceutical lab here is, is completely clean. The time for a little oh, can't Sleep with the enemies nearby, apparently. Ooh, some money. I'll be taking these. Any other succulent friends? Oh, there we go. Director. Thank you, Ethan. Come in. Kaya Patel, research director. And this is our chief scientist, Maria Hughes. Ethan said you disappeared right in front of him. Twice now? Three times? Director, you can't be taking this seriously. Look, I don't know who you are or what you're doing here, but there has to be a rational explanation for all of this. You found an artifact. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And artifact you mean the source of the distortion no we don't enlighten us i 
They're connected to the multiverse, countless other realities. The multiverse? Other universes? You're right. This is well beyond anything we were prepared for. And you have some connection with them then. Interesting. I wonder if that's why this is only affecting you. This is only affecting me? So far, no one else has reported anything unusual. Either it's your prior exposure to these artifacts, or perhaps simply the fact that you're an outsider here. What did you think it was? We didn't know. That's why we were researching it. That is science, after all. Whatever this is, I keep shifting to another universe. That is quite a claim. What makes you think that? Tell us about this other universe. Raphael said there was a gas fire. You're all dead. You're dead, honey. Raphael? Raphael died in the accident. He... Wait. Gas fire. Gas fire. The leak. Director, there was a hydrogen leak right after the accident. It was contained in a minute or two. But if it hadn't been, it could well have caused an explosion. Another universe, though. That's a lot to swallow. You said the gas leak was contained? How? We're not sure. Raphael was in the lab near the ventilation controls. He could have stopped it. Maybe he did. Or died trying. Is there some way to help him? You mean this other Raphael? No. How could we possibly do that? Raphael was a colleague and a friend. If there was some way to help him, I would. But it does seem unlikely. Raphael is dead? Presumed dead. The research level has been locked down since the accident. We still don't know exactly what happened. If he survived, he could have ended the lockdown, but... Tell me about the accident. This facility and the research level two kilometers beneath us were built to study a gravitational distortion. This artifact and the field it creates. Three months ago, our chief engineer, Raphael, was calibrating an experimental probe when something went wrong. We still don't know what happened. There was a series of explosions, and somehow, it's still running. Raphael said the probe is feeding power into the distortion. That would make sense. That's why the field strength keeps increasing. We have a control unit for the probe. After the accident, I tried to use it to shut down the system, but the kill switch isn't responding. We could shut it off manually, but the entire research level is locked down. We can't even get down there. What's this? What's this research level? What you see here are just our living quarters. Most of this facility is deep underground. We have a particle accelerator and extensive research and development labs. Or we did. Locked down? You can't override your own security system? Not from up here. The explosion fried the network circuits. Without physical access to the research level, there is little we can do. We have been working in makeshift labs for months. You have to find a way to stop this. How? I told you the research level's locked down. We can't even use the damn elevator. Well, we've tried nothing. We're all out of ideas. Guess it's hopeless. No. Uh, maybe I could in the other universe. What? Clever. In this other universe, Raphael survived. He made it back from the lab, so clearly his elevator works. Take it, and you might be able to shut down the experiment. This is crazy. But first, we have to do something about your shifting. I'm up with the suggestions. Maria, do any of the other controls still work? Could we adjust the particle sampling rate or the beam voltage? You can't be serious. 
We have no idea what we're doing. This thing is already tampering with space-time. If this gets any worse... It may also get worse if we do nothing. Right now, this seems to be our only path forward. <sighs> All right. It's worth a try. Then it sounds like we have a plan. Come with me. The control unit is in the fabrication lab next door. But I think I saw some succulents back here. And a cuddlosaur. She can keep the cuddlosaur. I'm only here for succulents. And a plushy star pal. Oh, it's like one of those ugly dolls. Little kitty face. Actually, no succulents. I think I just saw this and thought there were more plants. Ooh, master. Now we have to break in. Hey, thanks for the the plush mode. I'll be in plush form for the next five minutes, staring directly into your soul. I'm sure she won't mind if we break into her living quarters and steal her succulents. Money. It's not marked as zoned. Oh, some some chunks potato. Nice. Oops. Just a little nap to restore our health for free. Some chunks cake. Nice. More succulent. <laughs> Fedora, congratulations on grabbing those premium bisexual pride chunks. More succulents. That's right, they're premium because they're exactly the same as regular chunks, but they have an exclusive to June pride design on them. And they cost just as much to make, but they sell for more. Oh no, I fucked it. Start over. That'll be a good weapon here. So I feel like the game's a little loud now. common weapon. But that's okay. Just happy to have locks to pick to level up our skill.
Okay, moving on. Oop. Shouldn't be surprised. Hey, how's it going? Oh, hey, it's the director! This is the director's office. One of her succulents are still okay. Uh, I don't see the succulents. No, that's not right. That looks right. <gasps> Books. Hmm, can't get in there. Getting some sneak attacks in where we can. So we can level up our stealth and actually start engaging in the stealth mechanics. Where is it? Look right here. Apparently. Did the Fallout 4 mole rat thing where it burrows underground, I think. Still not too oh, by the way, I remembered because I will not remember, but uh. Last time, I spent like five minutes trying to figure out which skill it is that we needed in order to have more active crew members on our ships. And it's this, uh, this, this ship command thing down here, but we need eight more points in the social tab before we can even take one rank of it, unfortunately. So I guess we just we should start pickpocketing pick, pick pock what how do you say that word pickpocketing <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> I 
Lemon, welcome. Yes, English is tough. Oh. I forget what it is we have that's doing that. Might just be the scope on this weapon. Ah, I don't think I got any sneak attacks in there. Oh well. That one is particularly wise to our antics. That's okay, there's plenty of things to sneak up on in here, I think. Take a nap if we need to heal. Nance, hello. Chunt, chunt, chunt. Come in today and choose your chunks. Congratulations on grabbing those premium pansexual pride chunks. Oh my god, Rafael! Oh, oh, it's you. <laughs> we startled what each happened? other. <laughs> you disappeared, and the ceiling caved in, and, and... Uh, I thought I'd finally lost it. Are you alright? I'll manage. Look, can we just go? I met with the director. We have to shut down the probe. What? How? Look, if you think things are bad up here, the research level is even worse. I barely made it out, and that was months ago. I don't understand any of this. If I hadn't seen you disappear with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. I... Okay, okay. You're my ticket out of here. We'll do this your way. We can get out through the pantry. Here's the key. I'll back you up, I guess. Pantry? We going to Narnia? I a pretty good amount of ammo on this mission, which is certainly quite welcome. Lots of empty chunks packaging. Looks like this guy's been subsisting on chunks. Alright, got some more sneak attacks in. Very nice. Holy what the? You... Well, hello. Okay, bye. Well, at least they didn't start shooting. Ooh. Fresh peaches! Delicious! It's not chunks, but it's a uh, good little snack. Oh my goodness. Reuben, grilled cheese, and sweet rolls!
Nice of them to leave all this delicious food behind. Better grab everything I can. Jeez, everything here requires a key. And we're back to hell. Oh, buddy. Another one over here. Maybe it's just the the general splorching sound of all the biological overgrowth, whatever this stuff is. Hey, yeah, you wanted to talk? Look okay. at this. It's going to take hours to clear this out. Assuming the rest of the building doesn't come down on top of us. Can you tell me about the accident? I was in the lab, working on the frequency calibration for the probe. I was walking out of the control room when it happened. I heard the tanks rupture. The alarm sound. I only had a second to react. I jumped back into the control room. The door's sealed. I was safe. From the gas, the fire, everything. But I was trapped. There was nothing I could do to stop it. If I had gone the other way, maybe I could have made it to the ventilation controls. Killed the system. Even if it killed me, I don't know. I don't want to think about it. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Maybe in some alternate universe that's what happened. Anyway, where are these creatures coming from? They're a native species. We had an electric pulse field to keep them out. The fire took out the generators, damaged the foundation. They just keep coming. What will happen when I shut down the probe? I'm not sure. It might stop whatever's happening to you. It's a reasonable theory, I guess. What now? This looks like a dead end. How should I know? You're the one who keeps winking in and out of existence. I just want to get out of here. Go do whatever you're going to do. I'll see if I can clear a path to the door. Okay, uh, stay safe. Time? A tea time? Stream is crashing. I've seen everything back here. I just wanted to just wanted to make sure we didn't miss anything. Succulents in here. Let's 
Gonna raid the armory before this guy notices us. He's got a book. Couple of books. Hey, then how's it going? You might have to just use your computer real quick, do you? I didn't think so. it up. Will work though. There we go. Oh gosh, that's a big security log. Um, looks like they're. Just talking about the gas like there's been some kind of explosion in the lab the whole place is locked down i'm dealing with the lockdown maria is looking into the experiment dr barakova and the director are standing by no word from rafael i shut off the audible alarm director thinks the earthquakes are more explosions or whole sections of the research level caving in primary circuit to the research level is fried can't reconnect because i can't end the lockdown can't end the lockdown because I can't connect. I'm gonna have to decouple the security system just to kill the lockdown up here. Cancel lockdown the surface facility. Everything up here looks good, but there's no way of telling what's happened on the research level. It's no use. Elevator's locked out. If Rafael made it, he could end the lockdown from his end, but short of that, we're dead in the water until the consortium sends a drilling team. Director Patel declared the emergency over. Senior staff meeting just wrapped. Rafael is presumed dead. We're gonna set up makeshift labs up here and do the best we can until our relief arrives. It's gonna be a long four months. While well, it continues with routine business for the rest of the day, this folder contains security logs for hundreds of, of, of other days, stretching back at least four years. Survey team report. This world is 
this is a nightmare world. Oh sure, scans look nice. Breathable atmosphere, near-earth gravity, habitable temps at the mid-latitudes, fully established ecosystem, maybe even some useful organics. Don't let it fool you. Everything here is out to get you. The apex predators Kataxi are burrowing carnivores with near impenetrable shells and deadly venom. The herbivores are aggressive and wildly territorial. Local flora defends itself with some of the strongest psychotropics we've seen. Even the oceans are polluted with heavy metals and organic compounds that'll melt your skin if you aren't protected. If we have to set up a facility here, we need a high-end electric pulse field to keep the fauna at bay and a full-time doctor and security on standby in case some idiot decides to go for a walk. Kataxi appear to be the native apex predators of Freya 3, resembling large old earth scorpions. They're particularly notable for their highly aggressive nature, incredible facility at burrowing, tough chitinous shells, and powerful venom. In the wild, Kataxi are ambush hunters digging extensive warrens and using highly developed vibrational sensei to detect approaching prey and ambush it from the most opportune, opportune vantage. Initial scans suggest Kataxi colonies may extend as far as several kilometers beneath the surface, preying on other burrowing creatures in Freya's extensive cave networks. As Kataxi track their prey with vibrations, they are immune to flash type grenades. However, a strong vibrational disruptive like an electric pulse field should be effective at keeping them at bay. Kataxia have evolved reinforced chitinous plating that makes them highly resistant to conventional impact and ballistic weapons. Initial confrontations suggest cryonics-based energy may be significantly more effective at repulsing them. When their ambush is insufficient, Kataxi rely on- MJ, welcome! Congratulations on grabbing second. Enjoy your second favorite type of chocolate inside of that silver medal. And thanks for that blowhair, Dan. We got blowhair right here. Let me give them a nice big hug. Mm. Mm. I've had a good time with Mankind Divided today. I'm slurking a little bit, but trying not to get spoiled. Let's see where was I. When their ambush is insufficient, Kataxi rely on neurotoxic venom to fell larger prey. Resistant environmental suits and adequate medical supplies are essential for survival outside a secure perimeter. Kataxi should be considered extremely dangerous and are to be avoided if at all possible. So it sounds like if we have some kind of like cold-based weapon, that could be useful. I don't think we have found anything like that though. And survey data downloaded. Nice. Anyway, Mr. Hughes. What? I... Oh, Hi. It's you. You realize you just booked into my locked office. Mm -hmm. So much for security protocols. Seems to be happening a lot lately. What a day, huh? <laughs> Tuesdays, am I right? Yeah, let me get the doors for you. And done. Is there anything else you need? Was that tripping? Oh, we got a persuasion check. Can we do a little quick save? No, we cannot. Um, I need a little something to fight the Kataxi in the other universe. The Kataxi in the other universe. Uh huh. Wow. I've got an experimental thing one of the engineers put together, but... Uh. I mean, I, I guess I could take it off your hands for you if it's, it's weighing you down. Um... <laughs> no, we only have the generic options here. I know there's a way to get past this. No, Ugh. it's not that simple. Hand it over now. <laughs> no, um... I'm getting tired of your attitude. I'm the oh fuck! Got to deal with. Like it or not. Oh no. So I'm not trying to make trouble. Just wanted to hawk this through. There's fuck! Talk about. I've already made myself clear. Sorry. No. We have to keep it on hand, just in case. You understand? Um, this might be a good opportunity to try 
Let me, let me see if I can pronounce the word correctly this time. Pick pocketing. Pick pocketing. To pick his pocket. Uh, the director said the research level's locked down? That's right. Has been since the accident. We can't connect to the control system to override it. The whole system's on a head's rigor. Cameras spot anyone not in the staff database. They fire off an alarm and all hell breaks loose. What can you tell me about the research level? Bigger than you'd expect. We've got a particle accelerator, whole lab complex, the high energy research lab. Real state of the art. Can't tell you what a tenth of it actually does. Are there any scorpions native to this planet? Uh, yes. Kataxi. Nasty things. Okay, bye. When was the last autosave before the one that it's doing right now? Uh, oh, 20 minutes ago. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Anybody looking? Magic. Oh, we can't pick his pocket? Aw. Oh, I really wanted that weapon. What a shame. A book. Not though, it's just a generic notebook. Rimba! You're lucky. I don't want to piss off these nice people. Just in case they get really offended if I kill their Roomba. Oop. Uh oh. I'm not sure if they noticed us. <laughs> they noticed us! Or that one did at least. Nice, got a sneak attack in there. Should be getting close to being able to level up our sneaking again. Scan these. Um, for some reason, no. Uh oh, uh oh. Ceiling. I don't remember if that's one of the materials we've been looking for that we haven't somehow haven't found any the entire time that we've been playing. Might have been something else though. Ah! I feel like I should go check that other way real quick before we go into the big room. Is that money? It is. <gasps> oh, ammo. Nothing.
I have to say, this feels like a good spot for an ambush. Why can we not scan this one? It's weird. Where are we going? Uh oh. Can we go in there? Let me just let these real quick. Okay, I think that's where we're meant to be going. Like it's about to pop us. Yeah. Okay. 